Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we animate on circles in Final Cut Pro 10. Now we're going to have a look at a few different ways of doing this and some cool effects that we can create uh, using some free plugins where we have these multiple lines around the circle shape as it grows on or extrude a circle shape as well. And we're going to be doing the main circle animation in Final Cut Pro 10 with built-in plugins and then we're going to be having a look at how we use the free part of BrettFX's power tools to kind of create these multiple outlines as we draw on a shape. I've also created a plugin that will kind of do this all for you so you can drop it onto the timeline and we'll cover that a little bit later on in the tutorial. Now all the footage that you see in the background here is from a website called Soundstripe Now, I definitely recommend that you take a look at Soundstripe for stock footage. It's got a lot of very cool video on there and the way that they license it makes it much easier for YouTubers and small video makers to kind of license professional video for their creations. But without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at how we animate on these circles in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're gonna start with a brand new timeline here. And we'll make this 1920 by 1080. We'll call this Animate Circles Demo. And we've got a couple of videos here. We'll drag them both down to the timeline. And then I'm just gonna shorten these to around the same length and we'll just do shift and z so we can see the entire timeline so the first way we're going to do this is by using the built-in tools and plugins in final cut pro 10 so up in the generators here we can scroll down to our generators and we're looking for the elements where we can find our shape so basically here we have our circle shape drag that down to the timeline i'll just shorten this off a bit and you can see with this shape we can turn off the fill, then we can modify the outline. So we can modify our outline width. We can change the position of it. We can either keep on or turn off the drop shadow. I'll turn it off for the moment. And then essentially we're gonna use a transition to get this to draw itself on. So we'll come down to our transitions and we'll scroll right down. We're looking for our wipes and we're looking for the clock wipe here. So we're gonna drag on the clock wipe and you can see now at the beginning and the end we get this animation of the circle drawing itself on. Now the nice thing about this, we can lengthen the beginning and end so we can have it drawn slow or fast. And we can modify these, we can extend it out. And you've got a nice level of control over this. Obviously we can come to our circle here and we have in our properties here. So we're not in the video tab up here, we're actually in the properties for this circle we can change the roundness of that we're not going to touch that we can change the shape up here as well so you can have other shapes drawn as well and then of course we can come in and modify the scale and the shape in our transform options if we want to and move this around now if you do move this around then you will find that you might need to move also the transition here as well and um, to get it to work so we can move the transition back to the center of our circle so you can see now we've re-centered that on the circle. So we'll just move these back up to the middle here. And you can see for our transition as well, we've got some options. So we've got some options for whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, so the direction that it moves around. We can change the angle um, where that animation is gonna start. So we can kind of match things up here. And um, we can also change the edge treatment as well. So we can increase the blur or decrease the blur and you can see we've got an on-screen controller here for managing that so we'll just leave the blur there a touch and soften up the edge and so you can see you've got a nice level of control over this line as well so let's look have a look at one other thing that we can do with this basic circle drawing on so i'm going to come to my effects across here on the right and we're going to jump into the brett effects power tools where we can find the outline the Power Tools outline. Now this is part of the light version of BrettFX Power Tools, so you can download that version for free. We'll drop this onto our circle here, and you'll see we get the outline around the circle. So we'll select our clip. We can change the outline distance, so we can move this away. And so now you can see when it draws on, we'll get all three of those circles drawing on at the same time, which is kind of cool. So we can select a different color for that second circle. We could select a different color to the red 
from our first circle as well. And what I like to do is actually, we'll speed this one up and I'm going to duplicate this whole connected storyline and then we're going to offset this. So for the first lower shape here, I'm going to delete the power tools outline and we'll just stretch these out so you can really kind of see what's happening. So you can see now as that draws on, the second set of lines is going to kind of chase it. So we get this nice kind of movement here and then those second lines chasing it around. Now one thing we can also do is change the angle here so we can have the angle just slightly offset. So we'll have it there. So you can see you've got a nice level of control over the edge treatment, over the way the circle is animating and then we can also do these other effects such as adding in these extra outlines um, using the power tools in this case and um, we have a lot of options for this kind of cool layering of effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Now I was playing around with this and figured out that you could probably make a relatively simple plugin that would do all these jobs for you and um, so I did. So if we come up to the titles here and I'll make this available for download. Um, if we jump into Ben's titles I've got this circle and essentially this does everything we've done pretty close to it in one go. So you can see it will animate on and we can change the direction of this animation from clockwise to counterclockwise. So we can have it happen in either direction. And then we can also change the outline width. So we'll come to the middle here. So we'll come to the middle here. I'm just gonna turn off my transform. So we'll come to the middle here. We can relocate this. We can change the size of the circle and the location of the circle with these on-screen controllers. And we can also kind of change the color of our shape here as well. So let's go for a nice bright magenta there. So you can see that draws on nicely. And it will animate off. And then we can also shorten the length of the hold as well. So we can have this here. And obviously we could layer this up too. So we could have a couple different ones slightly offset. Let's move one over here. Okay, so we can kind of get them to dance with each other a little bit. Or we could have a kind of smaller one inside, maybe a little offset. Now one other thing you can do with these, and I was kind of playing around trying to see some of the different effects you can do, is if we take this circle and then come to the extrude option here, the power tools, we can get this cool effect. So basically we can have our extrude working on here. Now with this, um, we can kind of change the size of the circle and we can change the location. And then if we come here, we can also change things like the angle of the extrude as well. So we can kind of modify how that falls. But we can also change the distance as well. So we can make this a much bigger extrude. Um, and all these are keyframeable as well. So we could have our circle animate on. And then let's say when it hits here, we could go from a small distance to a much larger distance. It's going to hit and then expand. And you can see we get some nice kind of play that we can do with that as well. So again, layering up these effects and kind of thinking about all the different things you can do with them. With the back size, that kind of changes this into a cone. So if we get our angle here and modify the distance, you can see we get a really different effect uh, from that now. So we play that through. We get some interesting things going on. One other thing that I spotted, we'll just do one more here, is with the outline from power tools here, 
we get a slightly different effect when it actually animates on. So I'm just going to change the outline distance and I'm going to change the outline width here. I'll make this a different color. So here the outline functions a little bit differently so we get these nice rounded edges uh, on there. So you can see a lot of different creative options for working with these different outlines and stuff in Final Cut Pro 10. So playing around with this is super cool. So I'll leave the link to BrettFX's Power Tools. The free version will give you the outliner and the extrude and stuff like that. And then I'll also leave a download link um, to the circle outline and um, with that little animation on and animation off either clockwise or counterclockwise. I'll leave those all below. If you have any questions uh, about Final Cut Pro 10, this circle animation tutorial came from a question, then please do leave them in the comments below. I do have quite a long list to kind of get through, but I gradually work my way through them. And if I see a really good one, then I'll try and answer it a bit more quickly. But thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.